Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel here. Back here today, I want to react to Quran, just straight up Quran today. This is the 50th chapter of the Quran, which I have read before. Um, you know, first time I ever read this chapter, it was on the recommendation of Muhammad Hijab that he gave to a disbeliever, an atheist. He said, Hey, buddy, you should read Quran. The atheist said, where should I read? And he said, read chapter 50 to 57. And so I read this and I found this to be some of the most uh, impactful stuff that I have read in the Quran. Personally, I haven't read the whole Quran yet, um, but we're getting there. And so today we're going to react to this chapter here and uh, let's just get right into it. والقرآن المجيد بل عجبوا أن جاءهم منذر منهم فقال الكافرون هذا شيء عجيب أيذا متنا وكنا ترابا ذلك رجع بعيد Okay, so uh... For those of you that don't know, I cannot read Arabic. I cannot speak Arabic. Just a little bit. But here we see this is the, uh, I, I can't remember what the name of this um, translation is. Yusuf Ali. I think it is Yusuf Ali. He says, uh, we'll, die, we'll die and become dust. And when we, this is the disbeliever speaking, I believe. Uh, we die and then we become dust. And then after that, we return back to life. This is the resurrection, right? And they say that is a distant return. This is the English translation. Um, I've read other translations of this, and to, to me, the way I would um, word this is that they're basically claiming that this is a this is a large claim. Do you say that we die and then we become dust and then we return back to life? This is a large claim. They're they're not sure they believe this. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Again, the English translation here, it says, we know what the earth diminishes of them. It's like we know, I believe, I've read other translations, and it kind of seems like um, what the earth, how the earth will decompose them when they die. And, and with us, with Allah, is a record, a retaining record of the things that they've done. Goosebumps. Goosebumps already. Wow. Yeah, these these chapters like literal goosebumps right now, no joke. Um it's amazing. It says, how, how, have they not looked at the heaven above them? Look at the sky and how we structured it and adorned it and how it has no rifts. Rifts is like a, rift is like a block or um, a split. You see how perfect the sky is. Look at the sky. Proof right there. Subhanallah. Wow. So these disbelievers saying how we, you know, we're, we turn into dust and then, and then you expect us to believe that we're going to be resurrected. We're going to come back to life after being dust. Allah's answer to them. He talks about the, the mountains, the, the, the plants on the earth. Look at the sky. Look at all this beauty, the fruit. Look at all this beauty we have. And we've created this basically from dust. And this, this is the example of how we can 
resurrect if we want to. So this is amazing, subhanAllah. كذبت قبلهم قوم نوح وأصحاب الرس وثمود وعاد وفرعون وإخوان لوط وأصحاب ليكة وقوم تبع كل كذب الرسل فحق وعيد أفعينا بالخلق الأول بل هم في لبس من خلق جديد ولقد خلقنا الإنسان ونعلم ما توسوس به نفسه ونحن أقرب إليه من حبل الوريد This is a beautiful verse. It says, we, all, we created man, we know what your soul whispers to you. And we are, I love this part, we are closer to him than his jugular vein. Wow. Closer to him than his jugular vein. This is amazing to me. If you, if you really sit and think on this one, think about, ask yourself the question, how close is my jugular vein to me? It's kind of a silly question because it, it, it doesn't, you can't really get any closer than that, right? It's your, it's your jugular vein. It's inside your neck. You can't really get closer than that, right? Yet Allah is closer than this. He's closer than this. That's amazing. This is a, a, a beautiful verse. إذ يتنقى المتنقيان عن اليمين وعن الشمال قعيد ما يلفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد وجاء just a reminder of how humbling judgment will be. Very humbling experience. Everything, everything you try to, like I said, everything you try to avoid, the truth will come out. The truth will come out. وقال قرينه هذا ما لدي عتيد القيا في جهنم كل كفار عنيد obstinate the, the, the english translation here they use the word obstinate disbeliever throw into hell every obstinate disbeliever so obstinate let's pull up the definition of obstinate really quick Define obstinate. The definition of obstinate. Stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or chosen course of action, despite attempts to persuade one to do so. Basically means stubborn. Stubbornly refuse. You're, you're, you're headstrong. You're, you're, pr you're prideful in your ways. So... There you have it. مَنَّاعٍ لِلْخَيْرِ مُعْتَدٍ مُرِيبٍ الَّذِي جَعْلَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهَنَا خَرَفَا نُقِيَاهُ فِي الْعَذَابِ الشَّدِيدِ قَالَ قَرِينُهُ رَبَّنَا مَا أَطْغَيْتُهُ وَلَكِنْ كَانَ فِي ضَلَالٍ بَعِيدٍ قال لا تختصموا لدي وقد قدمت إليكم بالوعيد ما يبدل القول لدي وما أنا بظلام للعبيد يوم يقول لجهنم هل امتلات وتقول هل من مزيد وأزلفت wow. الجنة Wow. I remember reading this one and it hit me pretty hard. 
I go back, yeah, on the day we will say to hell, oh, this is a very powerful verse. On the day we will say to hell, have you been filled? And it will say, are there some more? Meaning, we're not full. There's more room. Wow. Oh. If that doesn't send shivers up your spine, I don't know what will. Oh. Goosebumps again. Powerful. Wow. You can't run from God. Nowhere to وسبح so here it appears that Allah is, is giving instruction to Muhammad peace be upon him to not give Islam in compulsion but be a reminder be a warner to these people whoever will listen warn them that's it is enough be patient he said What? Oh, that's it? Is that the end of it? That's the end. Wow. Okay, guys. Wow. What can you really say after that? I mean, uh, it's the Holy Quran that not much, not much commentary I can give that it's going to really add on to it. Um, what, what, what can you say? It leaves me speechless, the Quran. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. And um, God bless you all. And hope to see you in the next one. Masalama.